at this very moment, do you want lots of money? So, bigyan ko kayo ng mga 5 seconds para tanongin ang inyong konsensya. At this point, do you want lots of money? Now, question ko, why? Why do you need lots of money? What for? What's the reason why you need lots of money? Sorry, ah, wait lang. I'm opening my notes para hindi ko malimutan. Hey, mind you, ah, it's not having enough money, but uh, lots of money, more than what you need. Why do you think you want that? Some would answer, peace of mind. But I don't have to work so hard. Some, but I can indulge on the luxuries, guilt-free. Because I'm not sacrificing. Hmm. Okay, sige. Now, suppose that you're settled as to why you want uh, lots of money. The next, question, the next question that we need to ask, are you ready to have lots of money? Sabihin ni John Ray, oh, pare, handa ako kasi dami ko ng bank accounts. Meron akong BDO, meron akong AUB, tsaka meron pa akong isa na hindi ko sabihin sa'yo kasi hindi rin alam ng misis. Eh, joke lang, wala. Joke lang. Walang ganun, walang ganun. Are you ready to have lots of money? What does, it, what does this mean? You have to ask yourself, personally, am I ready to take on more responsibilities in exchange for earning a few more amounts of money? Am I ready to spend more time on things that I know will be productive? I know it will be worthwhile, but in exchange, I'll have less time, probably with my family, with my friends, or even with myself. Those are questions that we need to be ready to answer. I'm not asking you to answer it right now, but the point of this talk is to bring that consciousness into to you, bring that question into your consciousness so that when you're faced with a situation wherein, oh, meron po akong offer dito ng bagong trabaho, 50% more ang sweldo. Kaso lang po, puro travel, o kaya I'll be working overtime, pati Sabado magtatrabaho ko. Tatanggapin mo ba yun in exchange for the additional 50% of income? No judgment here. It's up to you. But the point is, are you ready to have lots of money? Now, assuming that you are, the next question is being rich the same as having lots of money. Now, some would say, Uy, ang yaman naman yan. Nakalakost. Naka Bigay po ito ng nanay ko. Sarah. What does it mean when you say rich? What does a rich life look like? Does it mean having lots of cars? Lots of houses? One, one house uh, more than your wife knows? <laughs> what, what does uh, being rich mean? And having lots of money? Does that make you rich? Now, before you answer that question, I, I, I believe that at the end of the day, that question is only answerable personally. What does being rich mean to you? What does wealth uh, mean for your life? When I attended a conference sometime last year, October, uh, Call Financial, the stock brokerage company na may online platform for stock trading. They hosted the conference and they invited multiple uh, speakers uh, talking about uh, living, uh, living a, uh, the road to a richer life. And one of the speakers is this guy. This guy is Arun Gogna. Arun Gogna is a a lay preacher for the feast in the Bellevue, Alabang, 
So, alam mo na yung address pa lang, pang mayaman na. No. He's also a an author and uh, uh, speaker for uh, Christian faith and personal finance. And during his his talk, he asked the same question: Would you like to be rich? And what does being rich uh, mean uh, to you personally? And uh, for him, for you to answer that question, or before you answer that question, you need to establish three things uh, before you proceed. The first is perspective. What is your perspective of uh, wealth? What is your perspective of money? Why do you think? Uh, what do you think? What the role of money is in your life? The second is priorities. Now that you know and you have a perspective and understanding of the role of money in your life, how do you then allocate the money that you have? Third is purpose. Why do I work hard to get a lot of money? Sabi nga ng commercial na Nescafe, para saan ka bumabangon? Why do I have to earn money? What's my purpose? So these three things, perspective, priorities, and purpose. Sabi ni Arun Gogna, on, uh, on perspective, be rich on the inside before you become rich on the outside. You as a person, you have to prepare yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. You have to prepare yourself uh, before you accept financial blessings. You have to be rich on the inside before you start pursuing becoming rich on the outside. What does that mean? You have to understand what does what's the role of money, of material possessions, of these tangible things around me. What does it? Uh, what are their role so far as my being is concerned? Am I becoming a good person? Am I becoming uh, a better Christian in my pursuit for, for money? Those things require answers before you actually start pursuing a richer lifestyle. Now, that is on um, perspective. How about priorities? Arun Gogna says that the, the quickest uh, or at least the, the best possible guide in terms of uh, priority in setting aside your money, you can use the, the following. The first is give to charity or to church. No? You give to church in the form of tithing or you give uh, your money for a worthy cause without expectation of recognition or return. So in short, you allocate your money approximately 10% and invest in your soul's eternity. So it's something, it's your own fund setting aside to help others and in a way invest in your spiritual capital which you'll earn in the afterlife. The second is save approximately 20% and invest in your family. Set aside for emergency funds, for education of your kids, your family, or even of yourself, of your development, of your training. You set aside money for experiences such as travel um, so after COVID. Um, and also enrich yourself not through indulging on material things, but more so on experiences and on things that will make your life better. And finally, spend the rest of your money and invest in your family. So in terms of priority, you look after also, you have to definitely look after your family's well-being and their welfare and spend on them on their food, shelter, and education and whatnot. So give 10% to your God or to your church or to your uh, charity or other, other pursuits. 
save money for yourself and for your uh, well-being into the future, into your maturity, and spend for your family. Now, on purpose, ito yung sinabi ni Aaron. Sabi ni Aaron, make money, uh, make money to love extravagantly. Where love goes, wealth and success follows. So, in the pursuit of earning money, our purpose should be love. But uh, more so, our process should always uh, should also be about love. So, yun yung sinabi ni Aaron. Did uh, I became? Uh, did I become a better person, a better Christian? Did I become selfless or sacrificial in terms of uh, earning money? Did it make me more empathetic with my uh, fellow Christians? So it's it's not just the amount of money that you earn, but the type of person that you become after you've earned. The money. So, perspective, priorities, purpose. So, you have to establish those three things first before you pursue uh, wealth creation and uh, uh, sustainability.